This is InfoLive TV headline news, February 24th. I'm Malko Dutkevich. The IDF beefed up troops along the border with Gaza, fearing thousands of Palestinians may march on the border in protest of the economic sanctions imposed by Israel on the Strip. The concerns are based on the breaching of the Gaza-Egyptian border a month ago when hundreds of thousands of Palestinians streamed across Rafiach into Egypt after Hamas blew up the wall there. Israel believes Hamas is now planning a similar action. National Infrastructure Minister Benjamin Ben Eliezer said on Saturday that a strong Palestinian leader is needed to conclude a peace accord with Israel and that Israel should release former Tanzim head Marwan Balguti from prison. Speaking in Tel Aviv, Ben Eliezer said while he respected both Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas and Prime Minister Salam Fayyad, the Palestinians require a strong leadership in order to achieve results. Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak said there are signs that peace negotiations between Israel and the Palestinians are progressing slowly and expressed hope that an agreement will be reached between the sides by the end of the year. Meanwhile, for the third time in ten days, a senior Hamas delegation crossed into Egypt to discuss the situation on the Gaza border and measures to be taken in order for the crossing to remain open. Hamas will abduct more IDF soldiers if Israel does not answer its demands for freeing Corporal Gilad Shalit. A Hamas official said in an interview published Saturday referring to a March 2007 proposal whereby Palestinian security prisoners would be released in return for Shalit. If Shalit deal does not meet its objective and the enemy will not answer our demands, there is no doubt that more pressure will be exerted, said Osama bin Zaini. The Prime Minister's office budget for 2007 was a stunning 700 million shekels, compared with 300 million shekels in 2005 and 650 million shekels in 2006. A report in the Arts noted that the budget for the office almost doubled when Prime Minister Olmert took over from Ariel Sharon. That's all for InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television website that broadcasts in four languages to the world. Today, the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs, and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.